guys, Ashley here from LTK Cuties. I just wanted to show you guys really super quick on how to do uh, row three and row four of my Meadow Half Moon Rug. Um, so once you get finished with your first two rows, you're gonna chain two and turn. Uh, then you're gonna place your first puff in the very first stitch. And then you're gonna place a cluster puff in the same stitch as your puff. And you're gonna skip the next stitch and finish in this stitch. And your chain two always counts as a double crochet stitch, so don't forget that. Okay, so now we're gonna do a puff in the same stitch as the cluster puff. Okay, just like that. And then you're gonna do a, begin your next cluster puff in the same stitch, finishing in this stitch. You skip that one. Okay, so do this again, puff again, then begin your cluster puff, and then finish your cluster puff, and then you're going to double crochet in the very last stitch, the same as the cluster puff, okay? Okay, so once you're done, it'll look like this. You'll have your chain two as a double crochet, puff, cluster puff, puff, cluster puff, puff, cluster puff, and your double crochet. Okay, now we're gonna start row four and you're gonna chain two, and then you're gonna do your first puff in the very first space right here. So you're not working anymore in stitches, you're gonna be working in these spaces, okay? So you do your puff and then you're gonna start your next cluster puff, or well, your first cluster puff, and finish it in the next space. Okay, so it'll look like that. And then now we're gonna make another cluster puff, the same exact one we just made. And you're gonna start it in this space and you're gonna finish it in this space. Okay. And then when you're done with that, you're gonna make a puff in this space right here. Okay. And then now you're gonna make your cluster puff, finish in this one, start your cluster puff, finish it in this one, and then you're gonna make your puff in this stitch and you're gonna start a new one in here, finish, and then once we get to the last thing, you're gonna think, oh, I don't have a, an, another space, but you're gonna actually do it in the top of the chain two from the previous row. And this will help keep it nice and straight so your rug doesn't go inwards. So it'll be a nice straight line. And if you don't do it, then it'll be crooked. And I mean, if you're a perfectionist, then you don't want it to be crooked then. So you're gonna do it in the chain two of previous row. And it could be tricky to find it, but. So you just finished your cluster puff in that row, just like that. And then now you're gonna do your double crochet in the same chain two stitch. Okay, so just like that. And then you're gonna turn, and then you're gonna do a puff, cluster puff, cluster puff, cluster puff, puff. Okay, so each time you're gonna be increasing and you're gonna do, um, like you did two cluster puffs here, the next row you'll do three cluster puffs. Then the next row you'll do four and so on and so on. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. I just wanted to make something real quick just to show you guys so you understand um, because the wording sometimes can be a little confusing. But this is my finished one right here. So you can kind of see and your increases are gonna go like that so it makes a nice pretty rug. Okay, well I hope you liked this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would appreciate that, thank you.